to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to unbox an all new pocket drone sent by Lay Idea. This here is the Idea 8 drone, in which it's a pocket sized drone that shoots at 720p. So you get a lot of technology and a small size. Now, if you want your very own Idea 8, check out the link down below in the description. So, before we fly this thing, let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it's all about. Alright, so this here's our box in which on the cover itself you do see the drone. Uh, it looks really nice, especially the high gloss finish that they did on the box itself. So a very nice professional look altogether. Uh, as we move over here, it kind of highlights all the different features. So we do have a hover mode, uh, which allows the drone kind of stay in sight. Uh, it's got the HD camera as mentioned, which shoots at 720p. Uh, it does have a gravity induction control, so you go ahead and move this uh, controller itself, in which the drone itself will follow it, so that's actually quite nice. Uh, it does have a one key return, as well as an included battery. It's got an emergency stop feature, as well as a different speed rate, where you can control the speed itself. Uh, it's got a visual positioning so it knows where it's at, uh, a switch for the power, 2.4 gigahertz trajectory flight, LED flight, uh, 6 axis gyro, headless mode, uh, one touch takeoff as well as land, a gesture following so if you kind of move your hand around it'll follow it as well. Uh, it's got 360 rolling so you can do different tricks as well as Wi-Fi which connects to your app so it allows you to see it live stream which is very nice. Now on this side here it shows that it is foldable and what you can go ahead and put in your pocket as well as visual positioning so it knows where it's at at all times. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what it looks underneath. Alright so we have an operator's manual on the top here. Uh, more or less a quick getting started kind of feature. Uh, so this shows here the controller itself in which it looks like you have to put a battery in it and it shows how to unfold it in a simple takeoff mode. Now here is another user guide. Uh, showing you where to download the app from uh, so you can go ahead and get everything started so we'll be doing that as well and then this here is our drone uh, so check that out uh, looks really neat I love the white and black finish to it uh, there appears to be LEDs over here kind of folds out just like so very simple design and then when you're done you just go ahead and fold it back in place just like that now this here is our battery pack so you can go ahead and just remove it by squeezing it just like that uh, and you just go ahead and place it back just like that and clip right in. Uh, and then just go ahead and close this. There you go. And then we have our camera here on the front. So let's go ahead and peel that. There you go. Oop. There you go. And let's see what else is in here. So we do get an extra battery, which is always nice. So you can go ahead and get more flight time. Uh, so that is very neat that they did give that. And then we have some extra parts as well. So we have a, a screwdriver, our charger, as well as some uh, different fan pieces. And then in terms of the wand itself, uh, we'll just go ahead and squeeze this right here. And you'll see a cap kind of pop off uh, in which the remote's right here. <laughs> so it's actually conveniently placed. Uh, so this allows you to control the drone. Uh, there's a joystick as well as another button feature here. So when you move it, it'll kind of follow it at the same time. So I'm kind of excited to see how that all plays out. So you just go ahead and store it by putting it back in there and then just close it off. Uh, and here's our power button and you just go ahead and hold it. And check that out, the LEDs are on and we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and load up this app and see this bad boy fly. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. I unfolded the drone and hit the power button right here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and place the drone down for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into the app and wait for the Wi-Fi to load. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi and open up the HT UFO app. Now this here allows you to see everything in uh, real time. Uh, so it does give you full control over the drone itself. Uh, and it just kind of serves as a basis to kind of see where you're going and whatnot and so on and so forth. So now that we're connected, we'll go ahead and click on the power button. And as you can see, it just loaded. Now that I click on on here, it shows all the different functions. Uh, so I can also turn on that too. Uh, so this will allow me to do a one touch takeoff, one touch landing. Uh, then we have the two different controls on the left and right hand side. Uh, the left side will have the throttle which will accelerate as well as decelerate. And then the right side will allow you to kind of maneuver it the way you want to. So it does give you a very nice approach in terms of flying goes. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hit record just so we can watch what we're doing. And I'm going to turn on all the functions here. And we're ready to fly. Uh, so you can see our drone right there and as soon as I hit takeoff, watch what it does. There you go. So we are now extending into the air. 
And as you can tell, it's hovering on its own. Literally, I put my hand underneath it and it'll keep its place in position. Now in terms of movement goes, it's quite smooth. So you just go ahead and use it as an XYZ access, which allows you to give it full control over the drone itself. Now on top of that, you can go ahead and rotate the camera just like that. And that allows you to go ahead and maneuver it in different ways. And you can see everything on the camera at live time feed. Now, other than that, you can do other things such as tricks. So if I can bring it up just a little bit right there, and then if I hit the 360 button, watch what it does. There you go. So I just did a cool looking flip there. Okay, so I'll bring it down, and I'm gonna do another one here. So I'll just hit the 360 button and do a left flip. There you go. And yeah, it's pretty easy and really smooth. So yeah, it's kind of fun, just kind of flying around. Really easy drone overall. Um, it doesn't have that much of a quick pattern in terms of movement goes. So it's very smooth. And that, for a beginner, it's definitely a very easy drone to master. And then what you do, you just go ahead and click the land, and it'll just go ahead and land. Just like, like that. There we go. And literally, it's that easy to fly this drone. Now, besides that, other functions in the app itself, you can do 3D mode. So if you have glasses, you can actually watch it in virtual reality. Uh, then, uh, so other than that, there's voice commands, one touch takeoff, one touch land. Uh, and yeah, overall, it's a very easy drone to fly. And most importantly, you can always go ahead and fold it up and just take it wherever you want to go. Now, another thing is the wand. Now, this will allow you to fly it just by simply lifting it up and controlling it just like that. So let's go ahead and try that next. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. Now, let's watch my hand here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hold this button down and hit the takeoff button. There you go. And then as I move it forward, and as I move it around, it'll actually start moving itself too. Let's move it forward. There we go. And let's bring it back, let's bring it back. This is so cool. Okay, stop. <laughs> So kind of scary at the same time, but very interesting to nonetheless. So there you have it. This drone is a lot of fun, not to mention it's really easy to fly. Especially for the price, it's actually a lot in one package. Now overall, it's a great quality piece. Uh, it is a little flimsy, but it's still quite great for what it is. Not to mention, all you have to do is just go ahead and fold them in, and you can go ahead and take it wherever you go. And with that being said, if you had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.